All right, we here at Dropkick Gaming, as the trivia master, I like to ask the tough questions. As the dude with the laptop. Yes. The are you ready for your tough question? Okay. What's the best sci-fi fantasy uh, franchise? Best sci-fi fantasy. <laughs> yes, the best sci-fi fantasy. Uh, are we talking games? Or are we talking? Oh fuck! I need more ammo. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna keep it to games for now. Okay, best sci-fi game series. Yeah. Um, I think this is probably my favorite. Okay. I can't think of. I mean, Mass Effect. I liked the, the first one a lot. I liked the idea of the second one. I just the things that bothered everyone else that they changed are a lot of the things that I liked. So I don't blame them. It's just I didn't like it as much. Oh, oh! This will actually refill my health and missiles. So that's all. What? What about you? What do you think? Um. I'm probably gonna go with the Warhammer 40,000 universe. I really like the like, I like the whole grim dark. I like the universe they've created, the depth of the lore. Um, I'm I'm a big fan of sort of post-apocalyptic or very dark sci-fi, and that's pretty dark sci-fi. Good job. No, it's good. See? Okay. Yeah, I know absolutely nothing yeah. about Warhammer. Like, I can't, I can't afford to play it. I don't have the time to play it. But I love, I still buy like the books, the novels, and stuff. Really? Yeah. That's oh yeah. Stick. Yeah. Um, because the lore, the lore in that game is so good. You know, uh, it reminds me a lot of Starship Troopers. I think a lot of Star, like uh, certainly the movie, Starship Troopers. Um, yeah. Which, which is one of my favorite films of all time. So certainly, again, it's that very dark sci-fi, that very sort of, well, humanity's boned, good luck. We're just sort of working on this whole surviving thing. Um, yeah, uh, I'm kind of all over the place with what I like from sci-fi. Uh, a lot of the times what I go for is just, like, visually appealing stuff. Yeah. So I like... That's why I like um, aliens so much. Yeah. Is I just love uh, I love the look of the technology in that. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go get the charge shot. Yeah, uh, aliens is a lot like that in the same sense to me that like uh, Starship Troopers is. Or I love the the designs. Uh, Wing Commander is like that a lot for me too. Uh, Wing Commander, yeah, I love those games. Yeah. Well, I only played one and two. Because I didn't have a CD CD drive when three came out. <laughs> I know Mark Hamill's in it though, so yeah, that's it pretty dope. I yeah, I just like I like any any sort of sci-fi universe that puts okay. humanity on the back foot, or it's just like we were completely unprepared for what's going on out here in the universe, and we're kind of not in a great spot. Um, I think that's really compelling. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's something to it. Uh, it's not like primarily my thing, but mm -hmm. I'm. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I like all sorts of sci-fi. I just like something that I just like it to be thought-provoking. Mm -hmm. So, do you have a particular universe that you avoid then? So I could go in here if I wanted because I Ooh. skipped that boss, but I'm going to. Uh, what for sci-fi? Yeah, there's not much that I avoid. Even like the bad stuff, I I can glean some love out of. <coughs> Sorry, dying. Um, I'm gonna get my nurse in here soon to change my bed sheets. Yeah, but she's not coming. I kind of shot her. Oh god damn it again! Well, oh, you're the worst. I grew up on violent video games. <laughs> so you just kill my nurse? Yeah, I, I can't help it. I kill everyone. Oh. Uh. It's all I know. The only education I got was how to, you know, use a firearm. And from Dr. The, Robotnik's Mean Bean. From the video games. And, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. What? Puyo Puyo? Yeah! Puyo it, Puyo is pretty fun. Actually, yeah, I really like Puyo Puyo. Yeah, we haven't done a puzzle game in a while. We should yeah. do Tetris Attack. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just have a copy of Puyo Puyo we could play. Um, yeah, but Genesis, 
Yeah. No, no, it's oh, uh, Super Puyo Puyo? Yeah, Super Puyo, Puyo. Oh, That means I have it too. Yeah. Everything you have, I also have. <laughs> Leave my girlfriend out of this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good. Good job. Alright. Let's see if I can do, do, do. Let's super missile the fuck right. out of this redundant boss. Alright, while you're fighting this boss, it's trivia time. It's not gonna take long, so. Uh. How many bosses are there? No, that, that's a bit too much of a spoiler. Um. How many 1994s were there? One. 1994. <laughs> Name two other games that came out in 1994. Final Fantasy VI and Secret of Mana. No, Secret of Mana was 93. Final Fantasy VI, Kirby Superstar. Sorry, I'm still pulling up the list. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can think of some others. Okay. You can clearly see uh, what I kind of listened or played back then. Yeah. Um. Can't believe I missed on both those shots. That's disappointing. You're the worst. Oh well. Literally. Gives you time to finish your question. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, you said Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. Okay. North American release of. Right. Yep. Yeah, okay. And sorry, what was the other one that you said? Um. Kirby Superstar. Kirby Superstar. That one I'm iffy on because that could be '95. Just checking for us now. I really wish I didn't miss with that super missile. Name one major RTS that came out in 1994. Um, Warcraft 2? Oh, Warcraft 1. Oh, Warcraft 1, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, Warcraft 2 is 95. Uh, Superstar was 96. Ah. Uh, so you still have to come so up with a game from Kirby's Dream Land 2? Kirby's Dream Land 2. And that's the end of that boss, anyway. Yes, Kirby's Dream Land 2, you're good there. Uh, also... Uh, six Golden Coins, or was that 93? That was 93. What Mega Man games came out? Mega Man 6? Yes. And X? Yes. Oh, you're done the boss, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was... Oh, uh, Mega Man X2 also came out in Japan. Alright. Yes, on uh, December 16th. All right, we've got our first super missile. <laughs> Sorry for the ages that boss fight took. That's okay. You know what? That boss is a bit of a pushover anyways. I love making bosses redundant. <laughs> that means they're going to get fired, and then you can take a job that's better. You know what bosses I really like are the... The ones uh, at Rogers? <laughs> oh, those bosses, those bosses can lick my asshole. Uh, no, the, I've always liked the Star Fox bosses. Yeah, they're, they're fun. Like, they're yeah. actually, yeah, I agree. They're super fun. The more I think about it, the more fun I remember them being. Yeah. <laughs> like, just like the, not only the boss fights, but also just like the character designs. Yeah. Like, Aunt, my emperor, I fail on you. Like, they're just so fun and interesting. Let's see if I can do I think this. Star Wolf is a really interesting villain. Yeah, Star Wolf is like that battle's amazing. Yeah. Uncle Andros! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for Andros is enemy. He's my enemy. I'm just gonna wait till I get the super jump in like. Yeah, 10 stop minutes. trying to sequence break again. Oh, but it's like that's that's half the fun of this game is like sequence <laughs> breaking. Especially once you learn to do that uh powerball thing. It makes I forget what the actual name for it is. The morph ball? No no no, oh, like the, the technique. Ball. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get back. Oh well. There is a way to like goof that, but mm. that one I never learned. So why do they like I understand with like the Metroidvania? Oh, I, almost I almost is died. I understand with the Metroidvania, um like genre. Term. You can just call it Metro. Yeah, like, yeah, where where the name comes from. But what's the what's the Castlevania part of Metroidvania? Oh, just like the RPG shit that they threw in. Oh, okay. 
So not like the early Castlevania stuff we're talking about. Like, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Like the... The namesake is from uh, Symphony of the Night. Oh. Wonderful. Afternoon Orchestra. That. Maybe. Yeah. Once we figure certain things out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just having like inventory stuff and. Uh, and. Oh. I wonder if I can actually get up there. Oops. Inventory stuff and uh, leveling and. Mm -hmm. And numbers popping up when you hit them. That's okay. that's it. But then the exploration item upgrade side of, of yeah, Metroid that's games. all from Metroid. Ah. I call them consider them all like Metroid likes. Yeah. But like, I'm not one of those people where like the the name of that genre offends me or anything. <laughs> I just it is what it is. People are gonna catalog things. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. Everyone just loves attaching, like, labels onto shit. Like sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they want to call it that, they can go call it that. Jerk off to pictures of themselves, so... I'm perfectly happy with that. Yeah, what's wrong with doing that? Uh, it, it's a little bit pain. Is it? I don't think it is. Okay, sorry. Yeah. It's not vain. Yeah, you apologize. And you apologize to our viewers at home who also masturbate to pictures of themselves. Sorry. Chris made me see it. He's got a gun in my head, and I'm on IV drip. <laughs> <laughs> and I ate your nurse. Space or oh, it's like a space laser. It is. Yeah. That's how lasers work in space, in triplets. Oh, I watched the replay on the capture. <laughs> oh yeah, that always does a little bit delayed, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I do kind of like this new capture setup. Hey guys, we got a new capture setup. Kinda, yeah. Kinda new capture setup. The first time we're addressing it. Uh, yeah. Uh, welcome to the yeah. dawning of a new world. And, uh... You know what that's from? Bet you don't. Dawning of the new world? Or, welcome to the dawning of a new age. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Yeah, you don't know. Age you of don't know. Aquarius. No, I don't know. What is it? Syndicate. Oh. Shit. It's what it'd say after every level. No. I watched Galaxy of Terror not too long ago. Is that kind Oh, of... did you watch it at Ryan's? Uh, well, Ryan brought it over. Yeah, that movie's yeah, dope. That I movie watched is... that at his house. The movie's weird, man. It's, like, better than it should be. <laughs> but also way worse. Wait, no, we watched that together that day we watched Manborg. No, we didn't watch first... Galaxy of Terror. We watched that right after. No, we what... super did not watch Galaxy of Terror. What did we watch afterwards? Not Galaxy of Terror, because I've never seen Galaxy of Terror before. I would remember the I remember Maggot we watched, game. like, a Roger Corman movie. Unless you weren't there that night. Yeah, I might not have been there. Okay, that's probably it. Yeah, because it is a Roger Corman joint. But yeah. I'd definitely never seen it before. Um, yeah, I would remember the Maggoty tits. <laughs> so I can do it here. Oh, I the worst. see. I don't even know if uh, I can do it here, but, you know, lust for power and all that. No, I'm not going to make it. And... Oh, that's wholly unnecessary, too. I'm not going to do it there. I'm going to go continue on. Wait, what you got about the PlayStation there? Well, uh, I'm actually going to ask you some questions about Sega. Okay, what about... Uh, what... What three pieces of hardware did Sega release in 1994? Uh, 1994? Yep. Let's see... One of these is Saturn a... Saturn Nomad Genesis 3? Yeah, well, close. The Saturn, yes. Uh, Japan in November 22nd. The Nomad, uh, and the Sega 32X. Okay. Wait, what did I say? Uh, you said this is Genesis 3. Oh, yeah, alright. And what piece of software? When was the Genesis 3? I look that up separately. Um, now, when I say software, I don't mean a game. Okay. So, what piece of like software-ish type stuff did they put out that year? Uh, Sega Mega Net. <laughs> uh, close Sega TV. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, just the British name for it. Yeah. I'm just checking to see when the Sega Three came out. Yeah, the Sega Channel. Well, I think it's a really cool idea. 
Oh yeah, it was. While I'm looking this up, do you want to explain the Sega Channel? The Sega Channel, think of it like, you know, the the, the PlayStation Store except for TV. So you every, um, I think every month or so they just like give you a different game for free. Well, for free in quotation marks because it was a subscription service. And yeah, just beam it to you over your television signals. Pretty neat. Forward thinking. Well, I mean, Nintendo kind of did it as well earlier with the uh, Satellaview, but that was only in Japan. And actually, the Nintendo had a modem. Yes, yeah, they did. Yeah, we've talked about that. Uh, the Sega 3 was 1992. No, 1993, sorry, 93. Okay, so that's close. Yeah. yeah, 32X, I remember being really close to the Saturn. Yeah. But I had, wasn't sure if you were counting Japanese release oh, dates yeah, or not. I was. Uh, so, like, what? while we're playing this Nintendo game, let's continue to discuss Sega. Sure. What do you think, like, started the decline of Sega? Was it the Dreamcast? No, it was, was the, it Saturn. the Saturn. Yeah. There's a, uh, oh, like I've read uh, Console Wars, which is kind of the whole. I'd like to read that. I could, I could lend it to you. Please do, yeah. Yeah, the whole uh, like idea of the book is it's telling the, uh, the story of the decline of Sega. <laughs> hmm. So yeah. Do you think if Sega came back now and said, "Hey, we're putting in a new console," do you think it could it would be viable today? Um, or do you think the name is now kind of meeting? I don't know. The name, the name's still strong. Yeah. Um, I think people would buy it, but like, they wouldn't be able to just develop it themselves. They'd have, because like, you know who they, they worked closely with, with Sony, and Philips. Well, no, they all yeah. work with Philips. Like a lot of the people they work with don't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, or they either don't exist or Sony killed. And Sony's got their own system. You yeah. might have heard of it. Uh, so uh, I don't think it's called the, uh, the 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 PlayStation Vita. Yes. Yeah. So I don't think they're going to be too keen to to work with yeah. Sega to compete with themselves. So I don't see them going back into hardware. So they'd be basically working entirely from scratch. Yeah, and they don't have a like they don't have a hardware division yeah i mean i i like the stuff that they're doing now uh, warhammer total war was incredible like when they got that those two licenses yeah. it was... well that's all like their production work, yeah right? yeah 100 percent. so and the same parent company as atlas right yes so there's they're doing fine as a production house yeah and then they make their occasional first party game which, I don't know, they kind of have like the Enix approach where they just like hire other people to, to develop for them and put their name on it. Because mm -hmm. like S Sonic Mania isn't really developed in house. There has not been a good Sonic game lately though. I think, like Sonic Mania looks dope. Was it dope? I have not played Sonic Mania. Well, it's because it's not out yet. Yeah. But it's looking, it's looking pretty dope. Okay. It's like I really, I like Generations. I didn't have any problems with Generations. Colors was okay, but. Oh, so you're just saying you don't like what uh, that real notoriously shitty one? The Witch? The really shitty one that came out like. Oh, Sonic 06? No, no. The one that came out like two years ago. Oh, Sonic. Sonic. Is it Lost Worlds? Yes. Yeah, Sonic Lost Worlds, no. No, it's a point, no. Or Sonic Boom, that was it. Sonic, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. So you don't like Sonic Boom? No. Which is fine. The only good thing that Sonic Boom has ever put out was that song for the uh, Sonic Sega on the Sega CD. CD, yeah. Was that on Sonic 06? I thought that was Sega CD. No, that was, uh, that was Sega CD. Sonic 06 was an abysmal abomination. No, I know Sonic 06. But Sonic Boom, I'm pretty sure, is the title track for... Uh, Sonic CD. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah alright. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. We're, we're saying the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're wrong, though. No. It was on the 6 CD. Trivia wow. time. Alright. What was the original name for Blizzard Entertainment? Oh, fuck, I used to know that. Is it Majestic? Nope. Mm, I don't remember. Silicon and Synapse. Ah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. They did, um... Ah, I can't remember anymore. Mm. I used to know a lot more. 
<laughs> but in your old, old age, in your old age, you've forgotten. <laughs>